Hello everyone, I'm back and today's video is going to be a, another video on anxiety and stuff like that so if you don't really like watching these videos because I know some people prefer my music videos then don't worry because I am going to be doing more music videos soon um, so yeah, so recently, I'll say recently, yesterday I just come back off my holiday I only went to Blackpool and I only went for my laptop just went off. I only went from Monday till Thursday. So it wasn't a big holiday. It was just a little break because we'd already been on a holiday this year and we always only go once. But we wanted a little break so that's why we went to Blackpool. And it was actually my first time going to Blackpool. So because of the things what I experienced whilst I was in Blackpool, I thought I'd make a video on anxieties when you go away so when you go on holiday or if you're going to stay somewhere where you've not stayed before and some little tips which I found useful when my anxiety hit me hard when I was on holiday so first of all the first thing to remember is to just enjoy yourself while you're on holiday or to enjoy yourself when you're going away somewhere that you've not been there before try not to think about oh this might happen this might happen I don't know where I'm going um, I don't know what the place is I might not like the food I might not like the place where I'm going everyone likes it but I might not like it just try and I know it's gonna be difficult not to think about those thoughts but try not to think about them and try and think about places where you would want to go in the place like for me when I went to Blackpool the one place where I wanted to go and I really did go was Madame Two Swords and every time when I was on the train on the way there and I was thinking oh well if I don't like it or if this has happened or this has happened or what if we can't go I always kept trying to think to myself well we're going to go Madame Two Swords and that's one place where you wanted to go for ages so yeah just try and think of stuff like that and just try and put yourself in the mindset that you are going to enjoy it and try and forget that it's your first time going there or if it's an adventure, if you want it to be an adventure and you want to, like, if it makes it easier saying oh, it's your first time, be excited, like that bit, then think about that. But if the first time is making you like anxious, then try not to think about it too much that it's your first time. Think about you're just going on holiday and think about all the good things you'll be doing because that's what helped me. Second thing I want to... um tell you not well the first thing second thing what I want to tell you but the first thing I want to tell you not to do is not to over worry yourself because this can make you feel very very sick and this is what happened to me I when I was on holiday I didn't realize I was over worrying myself I just thought yeah everything was going to be fine but I kept thinking in the back of my mind oh, what about if I don't like it what about if I don't like the place what what about if um, I get homesick and I want to go home and I can't go home? What about if something happens while I'm away? Um, so I kind of overthought things in the back of my mind whilst I was going on holiday and I actually made myself sick and I know that is going to be kind of gross. Not make myself sick as in I actually physically went to the toilet and made myself sick. I made myself sick because of my anxiety. And... That was just dreadful and I feel like that, ru not ruined my holiday, but that kind of made my holiday a bit less uh, on the, not on the fun side if you know what I mean, because all the way through the holiday I was constantly feeling sick and because of me, once I've been sick once, if I'm either at home or not at home, for the next few days I will constantly be worried about if I eat too much and I'll be sick or if I eat this and I'll be sick or if... I do something and I'd be sick. So once I was sick for my like once I was sick because of my anxieties of going away, that like, that kind of ruined my holiday in the gist of I was sick, obviously, because I didn't want to be sick and also because it made me worry for the rest of my holiday. And I feel like that's one of the main things what anxiety does to people. People don't really talk about it because they think, Oh well, is it really my anxiety or is it just um just being sick because I'm ill and you never really know like why you why you're sick unless you're physically ill and you can physically feel it but if you're like if you're being sick and you you don't feel physically ill you just feel sick then it's kind of weird when you're thinking about it and 
I just realised like oh it's because of my anxiety and because of my anxiety is me going to a new place and it happened the first morning I woke up in Blackpool I just felt so sick like I felt fine when I first like like for the first half an hour when I woke up but then before I was going to go down for breakfast I felt so sick that I actually had to miss breakfast that morning because it was like I, my anxiety is building like oh my god am I going to have time to get ready am, am I going to enjoy the places where I'm going to go if I don't eat all the food am I going to not be grateful for everything what that people are giving me on this holiday and yeah that was really bad because I remember just feeling really sick and then thinking I just want to go home and that's the worst thing you can do when you're thinking about things and when you're trying to like put yourself in the right mindset I found do not say you want to go home at all because you only end up regretting it and I'm so so glad that I didn't say to anyone I want to go home it was only in my head what I said I wanted, said I wanted to go home so yeah so that's one of the things what not to do now I know I've been rambling on but I'm going to give you some tips of what to do to help obviously your anxiety is of when you're going away. I don't even know if this video will be useful to be honest. But anyway, <laughs> so yeah. Um I think one of the things which I should have done, which I didn't do because I didn't really think about it until I was there, is make a list of stuff you can do to distract or stuff you can like play with if you're getting so anxious. Like I have this thing here, what my brother got me. On my bed. It looks weird, but I don't really know what to call it. It's one of them things where it's got like glitter in, and you always seem to find them when you go on holiday. But I don't know what they're called. They normally have little things in it. This has just got glitter in it. And when I felt anxious, I just I'll just do this and like squish it and play with it because that's like easy for me to fiddle with. And I actually got this on the last day of my holiday, but before that, I got this caterpillar um, one, which is in one of my bags somewhere. I think it's in this one. I can't show you the bag though, because it's got my friend's present in. And I don't want to show it on camera. So I should have got this out really before I start filming. So it's this caterpillar thing. My mum got me this when I was on holiday. And I realised how much this helped because my brother, my, well, one of my younger brothers, actually got. Not this, but he got one from like a, do you know those machines where you put a pound in and then you get some out? You know, he got one of them and I was just playing with it while I felt sick and it helped me so, so much because it just helped me calm down. So I'm actually went and she brought me this and as you can tell, it's looking a little bit on the flat side. It is meant to be a caterpillar. But yeah, I just really like this because every time I felt sick on holiday, I would always like play with this. I would always stretch it and or play with this. And it would always make me feel a bit better and it would always make me calm down and basically forget about myself being anxious and me more thinking about like what I'm doing to this caterpillar and yeah, and how I'm playing with it. That just sounds a bit weird but trust me, it does help. It does help a lot. Now the next thing I want to say is if you're getting anxious around a certain time on your holiday because, it, I don't know, it might be if you're getting anxious when you go to sleep or it might be anxious when you go and visiting new places. For me it was, I don't even know why, but it was anxious whenever I was eating. I think it was because, again, going back to the sick thing when I was sick and if I eat too much then I'm going to be sick again. So I was always, always, always feeling sick right before I ate or... If we were going to go to a place where we were eating and when we were on our way, I'd always feel sick. So this comes in handy as well. I always used to, I always take this so it's lighting up. What the hell is that? Sorry about that. I always took this whenever I was going to eat. I go in places to eat because it would always keep my, myself busy and basically distract myself from my thoughts and things like that. Um... The next thing I want to say is if you're on holiday and you get so anxious that you don't like the place or you're getting anxious that you're going to um, do something wrong, the thing what I found helpful for me was do at least one thing on holiday that you wouldn't want to do. 
So basically, if, for me, this might sound a bit weird, but when I felt sick on holiday, the one thing I didn't want to do was leave the house, well, not leave the house, leave the B&B, but I'm so glad that my that my brother like not made me leave the B&B but like kept reminding me what a good day was gonna have and that for me was one of the things which I just didn't want to do so if you think about some stuff like that if you're like scared about leaving then you can always leave but then have a fallback so say if you left you leave the B&B or you leave the hotel caravan wherever you're staying and you don't like it and you um like have more anxiety and it makes you more anxious being outside and you've tried it for at least an hour and you still don't like it then have a fallback on what to do like either go back to the place where you're staying or go somewhere else because for me I never did that because I didn't really think about it but now I'm looking back I think that it would be good to do that because if you don't like the place and you've been there for an hour and you've tried it out then maybe it's not really the one for you but don't like go there and think as soon as you get that oh I don't like it and then fall back on your thing what you was gonna do try it for at least an hour or half an hour just so you know that you will either get into like it or not liking it at all I've just realised how much I've rambled on this video and I don't even know if people really would like to see this but I'm gonna put it up anyway but if you do like videos like this please comment down below and please let me know that you like videos like this where I give you tips and tricks and stuff like that. If you don't, you can always comment down below and give me other suggestions because right now I'm on the side where I don't really know what to film and then when I do sit down and film it, I ramble like I've done today. So please let me know if you like these sort of videos or if not, what videos you would like me to film and please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye!